Hey, this is Douglas Shepard. In this video, we are going over valves and just kind of how they work. And so I'm gonna go over some basics here. But basically, we have our pull equipment. This one's pretty straightforward. But what you need to know is anything in front of this pump here, putting my foot on it, all these pipes are suction. So anytime you have pipes in front of a pump, they're sucking air. So if something goes wrong, then the pump is gonna lose prime. You can see right now it's fully primed and there's no air bubbles. It would be half full, it'd be freaking out because on this side, anywhere from this pump here, all these are telling you where to suction from. So if they break, then you're gonna get bubbles in the system, you're gonna get air in the system. They do not leak. But as soon as it comes out of this one here, okay, so as we come up here and go into the filter, now the water is pushing out of that pump. So as the water comes up, if we have issues, all the way from the filter down to here, all of these will leak because they're returning water, it's pushing water. So those are easy to figure out when you have a problem because hey, it's dripping, I got a problem, right? If it's not dripping, it's, it's usually doing pretty good other than you have a valve in the wrong place and you can blow the filter or your pressure gets super high, which we will go over in this video. Okay, so let's go over these valves. These are Jandy valves and the two here on the right are ball valves and these two are they're actually Pentera, but I call all my three ways jandies just because it's what I do. All right, so on my three ways here, here's what I want you to learn. You can see the off here, Hayward, Jandy, they may see it differently, but the back is always off. This is always what's on. So right now, this closes off the pipe, okay? So at that point, we have closed off this entire pipe. If I open it a little bit, there's a little bit more suction. We've got half to the cleaner and then the rest goes this way and you tell it where to go. But if I put it here, it's half suction this way and half suction this way, okay? So I want my cleaner to have half the suction, so I leave it like that. If I wanted to shut my cleaner off, I would do that. If my cleaner was going too fast, so this is half the suction going to the cleaner, I just slowly give it less and less suction until it gets to the speed that I want. Or, this is an easy touch, you can actually just control the speeds from your phone and leave that at half and half, which is what I recommend. On the main drain, you can see this would be off and we just want a little bit because we're using most to our cleaner and that. So water goes here, only a tad bit of water goes here and the rest comes over these skimmers. Now ball valves, these are called ball valves. This is off, no suction to that skimmer. A little more open, a little more suction, a little more suction, a little more suction. Now it's all the way open. So right now I have both of my skimmers. There's two skimmers on this pool. Both of them are wide open. Now one skimmer shut. This would be like half and half to my skimmers. So if you had an old style cleaner that doesn't get much speed, then you would give a lot more suction to your cleaner, right? But on this one, we have a really good Rebel that uh, doesn't take much suction. You give it that much, it's gonna climb out the walls, okay? So the water goes in, takes out all the debris, rocks and stuff like that, comes through. And then all the dirt goes through this filter here takes all the dirt out and then the water comes out comes up and now we tell it where to go okay this is called a fountain it's my, actually my aerator so if you open that a little bit you can see now the aerator is on this is all the way and this is off there's no aerator on okay so we told the water not to go through that ball valve but it splits between two pipes on this one it's either going to your returns or to your waterfall and you can see our waterfall is off. Now this has an actuator, it's just a smart box. And the smart box, when you push it from your phone, will turn the waterfall on, okay? So right now our waterfall is off and the water is going through the return only. If I turn it on with the actuator, never turn these by hand, you will break the components. You can either turn it by flipping the little switch here and then it'll turn for you. But technically, if you have an easy touch, you should just push waterfall on the box and it'll touch it for you. Um, but if you had to do one manually, never grab it by hand and turn it, use that little toggle switch. Um, all of your different actuators have a toggle switch somewhere so you can do it manually. But I do have this set to where it comes on when it's supposed to. So always make sure if you toggle it, that it goes back to where it was before. Otherwise their automation isn't gonna work right. And on spalls and other things, you can actually drain the spall. So now we're sending water to the waterfall and no water to the return, okay? That's how that works. Uh, pressure on the filter on high speed where it start, when it gets to clean, you need to clean it. But I do want you to know 
these valves should be set to where you can't turn them all the way but if you turn the off all the way to here you would be blocking all the water so it'd be pumping water at a high speed and it couldn't get through right um, this valve is set right it can only go one way or the other but if the off ever makes it facing towards where the water is coming then now all this water is backing up in the filter and it has nowhere to go you can actually blow the filter you'll see your pressure skyrocket 40 50 60 as you ever see it get over 40 turn it off and figure out why um i haven't seen any poles running at 40 so 30 to 35 is okay but up to 40 you need to figure out what's going on there same way with this if you were this valve is locked where it can't go further but if you undid this and you turned it to the off you would shut off all suction to the pump and we would lose prime okay so basically the off goes side to side but you're not blocking the suction and you're not blocking the return they ought they ought to be set where they can't do that but sometimes they're not plumbed right and you can actually turn it all the way around if you can do that do not do it but that's a basic overview on plumbing valves how they work um i've got more videos on my youtube you can check out but just teaching you how to use your pool have a good day